Hey y'all, so look, today I was looking at this video of Selena Johnson talking about how the All Falls Down record came together with Kanye. You know, that's her singing on the hook of All Falls Down. That is one of the greatest hooks I've ever heard in my life. That's, that is one of my favorite hooks ever, ever in music. Selena's voice is, is absolutely astonishing. It's beautiful. And the way she sung it out, she was stacking her vocals and just what she was, how she was sounding, it was, it's absolutely dope. And that's one of my favorite songs ever. Um, as y'all know, today I'm not the biggest fan of Kanye West, especially when he's come out and said things like basically saying, alluding to slavery being a choice and all of that type of stuff. I just, I don't feel Kanye. I don't feel him currently. But I remember at one point when he first was introduced to the game, when, when the college dropout came out, like Kanye represented so much for me. And I made a video about this before, but um, you know, I've I've had a, a nice amount of subscribers since then. I made a video about this when I first started this channel when nobody really even saw it. But Kanye, his arrival on the rap scene meant a lot to me. Why? Because Kanye, Kanye is from Chicago just like me, from the south side of the city. You know, from I've lived in some wild hoods growing up. All my life, I lived in some wild hoods. I'm talking about from the low end on the south side to uh, southeast. We call it over east uh, on Bennett, uh, right, right off Jeffrey, right by Jeffrey. I didn't lived in a, I didn't lived in the hundreds. I didn't lived in the 80s everywhere. And when Kanye came out, it was a symbol that you know what you can make it, and I can still always be myself. Kanye was that symbol that it's okay to be yourself. Even in an area where other people are being hard in a space where everybody being hard, everybody being gangster, everybody trying to be super, super tough, you can still be yourself and thrive. So for me, when I heard when I saw Kanye Greek like come forth and I saw him make songs like Jesus Walks and All Falls Down and stuff like that, and everybody in the hood was bumping it, it was like, damn, like I was a young, young kid when Ye dropped. Like I was like, what, third, fourth grade or something like that when Ye dropped? And I remember, or like, yeah, fourth, I think fourth. And I remember how I was feeling like, man, like, you really can be a backpack kid. You can dress differently. You don't got to be, you don't got to sag your pants. You ain't got to do all this to fit in. And you still can be accepted for you for being genuine in who you are. And that's what Kanye was, man. He was a kid, the first people, the first dude rocking the polos for real in the rap game. Rocking the backpacks. Um, rocking, well, Cameron was rocking pink. But uh, Ye was rocking the pink and the polo sweaters and all that, the fleece and all, all that type of stuff he had. Like, he brought that to the forefront and made it hot. And it was him. And he was doing this in an era where everybody was wearing throwbacks. And everybody was, you know, in Chicago was wearing the Pelly Pellies. And Ye had some Pelly Pellies for sure. But he still wasn't afraid to be himself. And I was like, man, when he came, it was like a breath of fresh air. I remember when Kanye... His uh, Through the Wire video first aired as the new joint of the day on 106 and Park. And I saw Harold's Chicken in his video. I saw Leon's Barbecue. I saw Jackie Robinson West Park. With a big, you know, y'all know Jackie Robinson Little League team that was uh, in the Little League World Series in 2014. An all-black Little League team that went far and was playing against the foreign teams. Like that, that park where they play at. Kanye, like... His first video had all of that in there. And it was emotional for me because I felt like at that time, you had to be from New York to be popping as a rapper. I thought Chicago rappers couldn't do that. You know, we had Twister, Do or Die, Common, but Kanye was different, man. He was more mainstream. And I thought to be mainstream, you had to be from New York City. Kanye was like, nah, I'm from the Shy. And he put all the elements of the South Side of the Shy in that video. And it was like, it made me want to cry. Because I had never seen as those images plastered on mainstream television, cable television. I'm like, wow, like, they, he really showing the city. And he's really somebody that's proud to be from Chicago. When I heard that, Shad Town, Town stand up, like, that meant everything to me. As a young man, like, I was like, wow, like, this dude really from the crib. And he repping the crib and he ain't fronting like he from somewhere else. He embracing that he from Chicago and he's being himself. Me and Kanye come from the same type of environment. It's like, I don't know if we live in the same same, uh, same exact type of hoods, but Kanye from around, he from Southside. So you from Southside, you see everything. 
right? You go outside, walk to the corner store. You know the gang, the gang, the dudes on the gang members all on every on every other block. Chicago is gang infested. You walking through all these different hoods and neighborhoods, and you going all all these different neighborhoods. Everything, all the craziest influence are, influences are around you. Negative influences are all around you, but at the same time, you say, you know, you know what? I'm going to walk in my lane. I'm going to walk my path and be me, and I'm going to be me and make that successful. I'm going to make people embrace me for being me and love me for being me, and that's exactly what he did. So for me, that did everything for my confidence. And see that? I'm like, man, I, ain't, I, I wasn't doing nothing running around in the streets because I'm not a street dude. Yeah, I'm from the hood. But I wasn't a I wasn't a hood dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, of course, my family, we ghetto. You know what I'm saying? We ghetto. We like to have fun and all of that. But when I say we ghetto, we, we culture. I ain't gonna say ghetto. We culture. Black culture to the core. We have fun. But I wasn't no hood dude. I wasn't standing on the block risking risking my freedom or risking my life. I wasn't doing none of that. Um so when I heard Kanye, I was like, man, like look at dude dressing, he being him. That let me know. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being you. Keep being different. And every you're going to be all right. Because everybody in my neighborhoods that I, all, that I always lived in, everybody knew I was different. Even my friend, I had friends that was doing some wild stuff. And they all knew I was different. But they respected me for being me and not trying to be something that I wasn't. And Kanye was not trying to be something that he wasn't. And that was admirable. That was, that was very admirable. When you have so many other people in the game was trying to front like they was killers and they was... All type of drug dealers, and they act like they was just Pablo Escobar type drug dealers. Like they was just on some El Chapo type stuff, but they was doing it to fit in. At that time, at that Kanye was like, "Damn, fitting in." I'm gonna make a song about Jesus, hot, and he did. I'm gonna make a song about being self conscious about all to like couldn't afford a car, so she named her daughter Alexis. Like all of that when I heard Selena singing on that hook, cause Selena Johnson is also from Chicago, Illinois. So I was like, man, this is some Chicago stuff to the core. Like, and when late registration dropped, what? You couldn't tell me nothing. I was the biggest Kanye fan at that point. But um, yeah, like all of that, man, it just it was symbolic for me. When Kanye's introduction into the game was symbolic for me personally. Um, and I and I think it was I think a lot of other kids in the shop probably felt the same way. Yeah, we spent our childhoods in wild hoods. We was literally the good kids in a mad city like Kendrick was. But at the same time, we didn't have to get lost in the sauce. You could be your own self. You could be unique. You could be different and make them people love you for how you are and make them rock with you for how you are. And that's you. You ain't got to be like everybody else to be hot. You ain't got to be like everybody else to be popping. Just Kanye stories in general was something that I I um clung to. The underdog story of how... People didn't believe in him. They only thought he was a producer. They didn't think he was no rapper. They didn't try to take him serious as a rapper. Nobody wanted to give him a shot. Everybody was looking at him and laughing like, you can't be serious. Like, when I heard Last Call and I heard that how everything played out on Last Call, on College, on college Dropout, I felt it in my spirit and my soul because a lot of other people probably felt like, I know a lot of people felt like I couldn't do a lot of stuff in my lifetime. They felt like I couldn't do a lot of stuff because I was shy. I was nervous. I was, you know, when I was a kid, um, sometimes people underestimated me, thought I was soft on certain areas and all of that, and I ain't never been soft at all. Um, but, you know, seeing that, man, it's just like, that was that was something I needed to hear, that underdog, that underdog story that he presented on Last Call was something that I needed to hear so I can apply that same mentality to my life and execute and excel. Like he did. Seriously. When he got chained in Chicago at the end of the Through the Wire video, when he got his Rockefeller chain, I'm like, damn. Like, that was that had to have been a powerful moment for him, man. Going from just trying to make beats struggling to pay your bills and pay your rent. And then you like, you with them guys. Like, you really at the top of the forefront of the rap game. Out of like, not out of nowhere, but like, like that. You at the forefront because you put together a body of work. That was absolutely, that was undeniable. So, yeah, man, Kanye's arrival into the game, that's something that I'm never going to forget because I remember how it made me feel. To see Chicago on TV like that, to see it, like, thriving. Kanye was Chicago. He was thriving through and through. Had D-Ray in his first video when nobody knew who D-Ray was. Like, that was big. 
like all of that, man. I um, it, it always been beautiful to see, man. It was always beautiful to see, man. And again, I don't even rock with Kanye now no more. Like he had the little Chicago service, I wasn't going to that. You know, I wasn't. Um, but always like that when he first got on the scene, that was my guy. That was my guy, and um, like he was holding the city down at that point. Like even when he did all the beats, he was doing down and out uh, for Cameron. Then threw Selena Johnson on that joint, throwing the alley oop to sister Selena Johnson, putting Twister on. Like all the stuff he was doing at that point, putting Chicago artists on, putting them in the forefront, and letting them eat. Like giving that uh, slow jams to Twister to put on his album. Then doing overnight celebrity for him, and I like. That was then did the Ryan Fest brand new with Ryan Fest. Um, did move around for Bump J. Y'all know move around from Madden. I think it was on Madden 06 or 07. Whichever one, I think it was on 06. Madden 06. The Bump J move around. And that song was featured in McDonald's commercials too. Shout out to the Chief Bump J. But uh, yeah, then he did On the Run for Rick James and Bump J on Midnight Club, uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. He did that song for him like. Kanye was, he exemplified what I wanted to do at that point. Like, be myself, help my friends get on, come from their underdog status to come become the top dog, and never forget where I come for, came from. He forgot where he came from later on down the line, though. Kanye forgot where he came from, for sure, for sure. But at that point, that first three albums, he was Chicago to the core, and he was his Chicago roots was deep. And, um... I always appreciated that, that he was always himself and he wasn't going to change. He wasn't going to conform for anybody. He was going to be himself. Even with the hard, the hardest game bangers on the block. I'm me. I'm going to be me. Because we all have to walk through them dudes. Chicago, confrontation is inevitable here. We've all had our share of confrontation here in Chicago, Illinois. But for him to even go through, still have all that stuff going on and still like, look, I'm going to be me. I'm going to dress how I want to dress. I'm going to do, do what I want to do. I'm going to do things that people say I can't do. And I'm going to show everybody. I'm going to make everybody say, I'm going to tell everybody, watch this. And watch how it worked out for me. And it worked out so well for him with the college dropout, with late registration, with graduation, with my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. From all of that, Kanye showed everybody that he was different. You know, um, I don't fool again. I don't fool with him now. But like when he, he was talking about on, on drive slow. I would say my homie Molly used to say, stay 79th in May. One of my best friends from back in the day, down the street from Calumet, a school full of stones. He nicknamed me K-Rock, so they'll leave me alone. Like, he's talking about the Black Stones. The Black Stones in Chicago, Illinois. Like, formerly known as the Black Peace Stone Rangers. Like, he talking about all of that type of stuff. That was all around Kanye's environment. But he not always stayed true to himself at that time. At that time, he stayed true to himself when he first came onto the scene, and it paid off for him, man. And that was a lesson that I learned from him, and that is why he was all that. That moment in my life, that college dropout, late registration time, was critical to my uh, develop. I was so immersed in hip-hop, it, it gave me the confidence to say, you know what? Keep being how you are. Keep being yourself. I was going to do it regardless because my mom and my parents didn't play that. But um, and I, and I was bred to be a leader anyway. But um, that was just like some more positive affirmations. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Listen to look at what this dude doing. He being himself and he going far. That's all I needed to hear was them albums. Machiavelli Mills TV. Peace.